Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are here at the finals of the Rugby World Cup 2023. The match is going to be up against Argentina and it is set to be a very good one, I have a feeling. But anyway, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We won against South Africa in the last one and found out that they are finishing fourth in this World Cup. Samoa were able to beat them 11-8. So hopefully, now we get to find out that the All Blacks, maybe, will be able to become the Rugby World Cup champions. But... Argentina will certainly not want that to happen, but anyway, let's get right into this match. There's been a lot of speculation about this game, highly anticipated final match of the World Championship. There's nothing quite like it. The atmosphere here is absolutely electrifying. So, it all comes down to this, the epic battle to decide the winner of the Rugby World Championship. Right, we haven't got faces for this one unfortunately, but this is our lineup. We have gone with the identical one to the last match. We played so well against the Springboks that I decided I would stick it out for the final as well. And we are up against a strong Argentine side, so hopefully we will be able to get the win, but we will have to wait and see. And that is the bench. It is almost identical other than instead of Geordie Barrett in the number 23 jersey, I have got Rico Ioani for this one. Yeah, let's see the huck and let's get right into this final. I'm hyped up for it. I hope you guys are too, but yeah, let's get right into it. Your Blacks prepare to do the hucker. It is going to be Richie Moinga kicking off this match for the All Blacks. And he is still at the front of the hucker. I'm pretty sure Sam Kane is captain, but nonetheless, Richie Moinga will be very happy with that, that's for sure. And hopefully he can lead the team to victory today against the Pumas. But they are normally one to offload pretty often, and it looks like they're already going to start, and now they've got a bit of a gap. But Aaron Smith makes a very good tackle. Has he forced him into touch? No, not quite. Must have been very close, that's for sure. That's a great low tackle from Damian McKenzie, although I think he actually missed it in the end. Sam came back to his feet, and he has won the not-releasing penalty for the All Blacks. So I think from here, I'm hopefully going to be able to take the three, although it's a difficult kick for Richie Moanga at the start of this match. Moanga steadies himself for the kick. Oh, and I think I have got that one as Richie Moanga there. It is a very good kick from him five minutes into this match and we are 3-0 up against the Pumas in this World Cup final and I'm very excited for this match. I have been waiting a long time to reach this World Cup final. We had to wait for all the pool games to be over although we did have some pretty good ones. We had England and Australia in our pool and in the end England actually missing out on the quarterfinals which was a pretty big surprise. Aaron Smith now kicking this one for a bit of territory. It is their number 15 who's got the ball in hand. He has been tackled by Aaron Smith who's been very busy so far. Richie Moinga shunted off there. But Argentina have got this ball just outside their 22. That's a good run from their number 2. Oh, Richie Moinga was actually shunted off again. I'm pretty sure they are going for a drive here but we're not really allowing it at the moment. Their number 7 now. I'm missing a lot of tackles so far which makes me quite worried to be honest. Or oh, we have actually injured one of them. It is Gonzalo Ferrari. I'm not sure if that's actually a real person, but nonetheless, there will be a sub now. Yeah, because of the fact that Argentina aren't actually licensed, it does make it a little bit tricky at times because you don't actually know who the players are. But I will try my best. But I do know the All Blacks rather well. Oh, that was a good push from the four pack. Argentina have now got a set play that they are going to try and do. The number 10 goes back to the number 14. Aaron Smith shunted off, but Sam Kane makes the tackle. And Argentina looking strong with ball in hand at the moment. They're looking like a strong pack of individuals who might be able to get the win here if they are lucky. That's Whitelock who has made the tackle there, but he wasn't quite able to get that one. Another tackle from Whitelock. Joe Moody trying to rip that one away. 
But we haven't quite got that one, unfortunately. I think I almost would have if I if I didn't bring the guys back out of that ruck. The number 18 now goes to their number two. It's tackled by Lau Mape, and now he's injured. We are going to injure their whole four pack if this continues. We've injured two of the front row. That number three, he will be a little bit worried at this point, that's for sure. So Argentina, after 20 minutes, have already had to make two subs, which isn't really ideal for them. I think they would have loved to be using them later in the match. Add a little bit more speed and power off the bench, but now they are already on the field. They are going for a set play once again, Argentina. And they are going to push it wide, and that's a good one. The number 14 has shunted off Caleb Clark as well. And Joe Moody wins another not releasing penalty for the All Blacks. But they are looking strong with ball in hand, Argentina. Quite a physical side. And at the moment, I think I've got to try and take the three here as well. You can't really be turning down three pointers, that's for sure. Not in a World Cup final. Hopefully I can get this though. That might miss, <laughs> to be honest. Richie Winger. Oh, is it coming round? Is it coming round? Oh... Yes, it does. Good kick from Richie Maia. Had me on the edge of the seat there. I thought that maybe it was just going away to the left. But it has hit the post and gone over. So the score is now 6-0 to the All Blacks in this World Cup final. And I'm hoping we will get to see some tries in this. I don't just want it to be penalties that wins the All Blacks the game. Oh, Hadi Savi has been clotheslined. And this one is too far out to be able to go for it. Is that the number three? No, it is the number 12. I was hoping it was the three, because then they would have their whole front row off the field for a little bit. We are going to be kicking for touch, though. I've almost lost my voice as well, which isn't very handy, but nonetheless, Richie Maia kicking for the touchline. That's not going to find it, unfortunately. He's done very well to keep that in the number 11. And now they are on the counter-attack. Severi Reese with a great low tackle back to his feet. Not quite able to get it though. The number nine goes to their number eight. Cody Taylor makes the tackle back to his feet. But once again, Argentina are protecting the ball very well. And they have got a lot of offloads. The number three is getting tackled twice. But he isn't injured. So that is all right for Argentina. Number nine now goes to the number eight. who was tackled by Artie Savia. Number nine now around the side of the ruck. Artie Savia making tackles. So is Whitelock. Sam Kane rips that ball away and now we are on the counter. It's good Hugh who goes out to Caleb Clark. Offload, no. I thought Artie Savio was going to run on the outside. Tell you what though, Aaron Smith, what a pick up that is. And because of it, Aaron Smith is going to score the first try of the match for the All Blacks. I didn't even think that was a chance, to be honest. But Aaron Smith has made something out of not a lot. And because of it, he has now made seven points on the board for the All Blacks because Richie Moyer, I would say, will be able to kick this one. But Sam Kane. To Richie Moyer, good Hugh, goes to Caleb Clark. It was originally a terrible offload, but look at that pace from Aaron Smith round the number six, and it was only the number four as well who was chasing him. So Aaron Smith has done very well there to get the All Blacks a little bit further ahead. And now we're in the situation. Argentina are going to have to score twice and convert both if they want to win this match. And that is going to be tough to do against the All Blacks. Definitely because of the defence we had in that last match against the Springboks. That last 20 minutes of that match was quite incredible, the way that the All Blacks were able to keep them out. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend looking at it because I was thoroughly entertained throughout. Although I was also slightly worried most of the time because of how close they got. Richie Moinga now has been tackled. Argentina rips that ball away. Caleb Clark has been shunted off once again, and now they're going down the wing. They're offloading, but they have gone into touch. Oh, his head almost whacked that barrier, which would have been a bit tough on him. The number four. But Argentina, they are looking sharp with ball in hand. A lot of offloads, a lot of shunt-offs, or bump-offs, I guess I should call it. But we are in our own 22 now. This line-out needs to be straight. Well, I mean, that's quite straight, but the question is, is it going to be too straight? Do we blow two gets it, though? Aaron Smith now goes back to Richie Moai. I could have kicked that one, but instead we're going to try and run it out. Severi Reese now running up the middle. Offload, no, he isn't. And we are at half-time now. Now, the smart thing to do would be to kick it out. And continue in the second half, but that is not how the All Blacks play. Okay, Lama is going to drop the ball instead. And we have ripped that one away, so now we are going into half time. So maybe kicking it away might have given us a slightly better chance. Because if it hadn't found touch, we would have been down there into the field. But nonetheless, the All Blacks starting this match pretty well for the World Cup final, being 13 0 up at half time. Oh, okay, so 67% possession to Argentina, 71 to the All Blacks for territory, and they've actually had four line breaks to our one. So we are doing very well to be ahead in this match, but those two penalty goals, and we've actually only had two handling errors as well. 
So decent half for the All Blacks, even though it doesn't look it on paper. But we have got those 13 points on the board, which could be crucial in this World Cup final. It is going to be Argentina now, their number 10, kicking off for the second half. He has kicked over Artie Savia's head. Whitelock is lining that one up, and he has taken it well, but he is getting driven back by their number 6. And their number 16 didn't decide to contest that. And because of it, we have kept this ball. Aaron Smith is going to be slightly kicking for territory, but also trying to find touch at the same time, but it's not going to. The number 15, what's he going to do? He has kicked it back. Caleb Clark's going to take that one. No one is on site, but now they are. Caleb Clark shunts off one, but he has been tackled by the second. We have to use our back line here. Aaron Smith goes to Sam Kane. Out to Gucci. One more to McKenzie. And it's gone out to Siri Reese. And now there's a bit of space. Oh, Siri Reese has dropped the ball. That is not what I expected in that situation. Cody Taylor rips the ball away once again. And we are going back for the scrum to Argentina. Not what I expected there from Siri Reese. I think it came free from that big hit on him. Sam Kane went to Gucci. Damian McKenzie facing backwards. Yes, yeah, Siri Reese just dropped the ball in contact by their number 11. Yeah, 13 0. I'm feeling slightly confident that we will be able to win this match from here. But if Argentina score very soon, they're only one converted try away. And of course, we don't want that to happen. The number 10 now tackle. Oh, Kerioani with a very good tackle there. Whitelock trying to rip that one away, but not quite able to. Now it is their number 8, who goes across to their number 16. One of the replacement forwards. Their number 9 going to the number 6. He has been hit hard by Whitelock. At the moment, they are just going around the side of the ruck, but I have a feeling... Oh, no, I want a penalty against them. I was going to say, I think soon they are going to try backline movement, but instead, Cody Taylor has been very sharp in the breakdown. We're going to go for three once again. Well, I possibly should have looked at kicking for the corner to try and get another try on the board. But Richie Moinga, like they were saying on commentary, with this going over, we are going to be two converted tries ahead of Argentina so from here I would say we have won this match but now it is just about how much are we going to win it by the number 10 for Argentina kicking off once again I would like one or two more tries in this match to be honest but hopefully we will be able to get them white lock takes that one well but is driven backwards in the tackle once again by that number six I could be kicking this one but I think we're going to try and use our back line here Kerioani goes to Laomape, out to Guccio, it's going to be a draw and pass moment, Severi Reese got the ball, but he has been tackled very well, they have been covering Severi Reese pretty well overall in this match so far, Argentina, Aaron Smith now goes to no one unfortunately, and maybe we should have been looking for that kick, because now Argentina are on the counter, and their number 13 is going to make it to the line, and we've been punished big time, and tell you what, if that costs us this match, I will look like an idiot, but nonetheless, it is Bosch, who was able to get the try for Argentina, and they might just be starting to have a bit of a comeback in this one. It is Akira Ioani. Instead of kicking it away, we decided to try and use our back line. Aaron Smith's pass found no one, and then from there, Argentina decided to counter with their number 13, and they have scored their first try of the match, Argentina. And they might just start to get back into this one. Next up, we'll have the conversion. But Dano now has got this kick there, number 10, but he should be able to get this. Yes, he has, and now Argentina are only nine points behind. I'm a little bit nervous now. Richie Moinga is going to be kicking this one. We're going to kick long and try and force them back into their own area if we can. It's well taken by Argentina's number five. Artie Savia makes the tackle to Kerioani. Or was Cody Taylor in the end who tries to get that one? The number three now passes. Tell you what, that's going to be a try as well. What happened there? Siri Reese is running as quick as he can, but Argentina are actually about to score their second of this match. And they are right back in this one now. Was not kicking that ball away the biggest mistake I've ever made on Rugby Challenge 4. We're about to find out because now Argentina are only four points behind with a kick to come. The All Blacks can't believe it. I can't believe it. And tell you what, that was just set up for them, unfortunately. Now what do I do? That's the question. I'm feeling the pressure, to be honest. Severi's not able to catch him, unfortunately. And their number 10 is able to score. And Argentina right back in this match. And if they are able to win this, it's ever since I made the comment of, um, I don't think they can win it from here. And of course, I am very good at jinxing things. And now Argentina are sitting two points behind, not only... Could a try win them this match, but a penalty would also put them ahead. So we have to make sure our discipline is on point for the last 20 of this match. 
Right, I'm going to have to make some subs, I think. Right, the subs will be made once we have a stoppage in play. I'm going to go to the left this time. Going to the right didn't quite work out for us. Akira Ioani is chasing that one hard. Oh, and now they're offloading once again, Argentina. Surely they're not going to go for a try from here. Joe Mooney makes the tackle, though. I thought for a second he might have been able to win the not-releasing penalty there. Aaron Smith with a great tackle on their number nine. Have we got that one? No, not quite. And Argentina are right back in this match. I thought this final might have been a little bit closer than it started to be, but now it is certainly very close. The number three is tackled. That's Tuanga Fasi's ball too. Oh, I couldn't even speak there for a second, and that's an interception for them once again. Argentina, Kiriuani takes it back though, goes to Adi Savi, a white lock goes to Tui Pelotu, out to Goodhue, who is going to make it to the line. And he has scored the try for the All Blacks, Jack Goodhue. And now we are back in the lead by a little bit more in this match. Caleb Clark thinks that we've won the World Cup from here. It's not over yet, mate. We have still got time on the board, and Argentina have shown that they can score two tries in a very short amount of time. They did steal that ball, but then Akira Ioani rips it away, goes to Adi Savi, a white lock, Tui Pelotu fires it out to Jack Goodhue, who was able to get to the line and score the try. Richie Moanga now with this kick. Not the toughest kick I've seen him line up, but he still takes his time. And that one should be going over from Richie Moanga. I took a little bit more time, tried to concentrate big time on that. That's why I wasn't talking, but now we are leading this match. 23 to the All Blacks, 14 to Argentina. And the subs are being made. Good you is coming off the field for Rico Ioani. Akira Ioani is coming off the field for Lachlan Boshier. And also Will Jordan is making his way onto the field for Damian McKenzie. So those are our three subs for this one. The number 10 now, he has got a plan. And he knows that they do need a try very soon if they want to keep their chances alive in this World Cup. Oh, we've done very well to keep that one. I would kick this, but I am Lachlan Boshier. Joe Moody now goes back to Lau Mape, out to Richie Moanga. One more to Sevi Reese, who's trying to make some space. Going on the inside to Sam Kane, who smashed in the tackle. And because of it now, no, we have kept that one. White lock. It's going to Joe Moody now. Will Jordan involved? Goes to Aaron Smith. Going out to Lau Mape. He's got Caleb Clark on his outside. He finds him, and Caleb Clark, he is going to run. He knew that we were going to win the World Cup. From that last try, and now he is going to get to celebrate with a try of his own. Caleb Clark scores in the 78th. And he is very happy with that, Caleb Clark. He was actually happier with the last try, to be honest. But nonetheless, Caleb Clark, right place, right time, out on that left wing. Aaron Smith goes to Lau Mape. He, he actually ran wider, Caleb Clark, as well, which I was quite impressed with. He did it all by himself. And because of that, he has got the reward of scoring a try and scoring the last try possibly of this Rugby World Cup final. Richie Moanga now with this kick out in front. I'm going to try and take this relatively quickly so we do get one more play in this match because of the fact that now we can't lose from here. Now we can just throw this ball around a little bit, try and get another try before the end of this match. Oh no, the score is going to stay on, but nonetheless, Argentina now kicking off. We have got 10 seconds left, and that is the full-time siren. So if we can get this ball, and if we can score and end this match with another try, that would be great. And I feel like from here, the back line is probably set for it. Aaron Smith goes to Cody Taylor. One more to Lau Mape. Goes out to Rico Ioani. Goes to Sevi Reese, who steps on the inside. And then fires it wide to Richie Moanga. He is isolated, but he has stepped on the inside there, Richie Moanga. And we have managed to somehow keep that ball. But I feel like now going to the left could be on once again. Tui below two out to Rico Ioani. It wasn't the best pass, but now Lau Mape in a lot of space. He has done the step round there, number 15 as well. But ankle tapped in the end there. Nadi Laumape, Tawanga Fasi now goes to Joe Moody, one more to Rico Ioani, out to Caleb Clark, who has been tackled once again. He thought for a second maybe he was going to get a second of the match. Lachlan Boshia goes to Tui Pelotu, to Tawanga Fasi to Aaron Smith, Richie Moanga, we're just passing it round. But now Sevi Reese getting driven backwards in the tackle. Aaron Smith goes to Richie Moanga, to Tawanga Fasi out to Rico Ioani, goes to Caleb Clark. And once again we are just five metres short. I feel like we're just going back and forth between the wingers at the moment. But now, oh, Lau Mape sees a gap up the middle and he drives. And he has scored the try, Lau Mape. And that try is going to be the last of this 2023 World Cup. Nali Lau Mape scores it. He got a hat trick in the last match against the Springboks. And now the icing on the cake is he has scored the last try of the World Cup. And not only was it the last try... But it is the last try before the All Blacks win the World Cup. I think I just said that, but I'm very excited. <laughs> Nani Lau Mape able to drive over 
And we have won this match now as the All Blacks. He's very cool, calm and collected in that situation now, Yamape. I would be absolutely jumping about. <laughs> but nonetheless, Richie Moyer is going to kick this one down the middle. Down the middle. It is 91 minutes gone in this World Cup. Richie Moyer, a little bit of a delayed reaction, but nonetheless, he knows what that kick means. And that means that the All Blacks are going to be the 2023 World Cup champions. Argentina look a bit gutted. They thought for a second they were back in that match. I thought they were well and truly back in it. But nonetheless, the All Blacks showing their class in those later moments. With the four tries on the board. Aaron Smith, Caleb Clark, Nalila Mape and also Jack Goodhue. Four from four for Richie Moyer and three penalties that we did turn into nine points. And at one stage that looked like it was going to be the difference between the two sides. But Badano having a good game for Argentina scoring and also converting to and Bush got the other one. The possession and territory went back in the All Blacks favour. Line breaks we had three in that second half and they probably were almost three tries. To be honest tackles were very even. 58 apiece. Five penalties conceded against Argentina. That was what was costing them a bit. Out of those five penalties we were able to turn three into points. And then at one stage that was the difference between the sides. But in the end, All Blacks winning this match 37 to 14, and we all know what that means. Now we will get to see the trophy presentation. Over we go to the trophy. Look at that, Richie Moinger. The man who I didn't think was captain has got that trophy, and he won't be letting go of it anytime soon, that's for sure. Richie Moinger has, I guess, led the team to victory in a way. I said that he might have a chance of doing that. And yeah, he is. Fair play to Richie Moinger and fair play to the All Blacks. And there it is, the All Blacks are the Rugby World Cup 2023 winners. They have done extremely well and now our rating is actually over 100. I can see in the background it's 100.09. I didn't even know it could go above 100. But the All Blacks, I guess you could say, have been playing in a league above the rest of the world in this career mode and luckily we were able to win that World Cup and nonetheless that is going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.